Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool DIY 90s inspired costume lookbook for you and I hope that anyone watching this gets inspiration. I know this is really last minute but I'm doing it anyways and I hope that this gives you some ideas uh, with your wardrobe and how you can work with it and make a last minute costume because I know that costumes are really really expensive and you probably already have something similar to the costume you want to be this Halloween already in your closet so I'm making this video to give you some ideas and I hope it helps enjoy okay so the first outfit is Hilary Banks from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and this outfit is so easy to recreate I thrifted this jacket, which is what inspired this entire costume lookbook because when I saw it, I I was like blown away. I completely got Hillary Banks vibes, so like the wheels started turning in my head and I was like, wait, I can turn this into like a Halloween lookbook video, which is exactly what I'm doing. So the skirt I just it's just a simple black skirt I've had forever, uh, black tights and black heels, and I also top it off with a red beret because throughout the show, um, Hillary can be seen wearing like really cute hats um, that I, like combine with her outfit, and I just throw on these cute gold hoops, and can't forget the Chanel bag. I also thrifted this, so just completes the whole look. I think this might be my favorite look, but we're just getting started, so we'll see more looks. Second costume is a classic. This is Britney Spears in the Hit Me Baby One More Time music video, and okay, you're probably tired of seeing this costume with every single Halloween, but it's so cute, and it's literally a classic. I mean, for any Britney diehard fan, and it's so easy to recreate. All you need is a gray cardigan, a white button up, and you just tie it in the middle, a black pleated skirt, and I think these are in every girl's closet, I assume, because they are wardrobe staples. So, yeah, and uh, knee high black socks, and I also paired it with these uh, patent black loafers from ASOS, and the scrunchies I got off of eBay. Um, including the skirt. This is from eBay as well, and I didn't have uh, the pink ribbon ties that she has at the end of her braids, so I just settled for regular black scrunchies, and here you have it. Also, she wears little hoops, little gold hoops in the, um, in the video, so I paired little gold hoops as well, and that's the finished look. Whatever. So this third costume is none other than Daria. Um, if you grew up in the 90s, well, by the end of the 90s I was five, so I didn't watch Daria, but I watched it as a teenager, and I could relate immensely to the character, still do, and this is my Daria costume. Um, I kept the black pleated skirt from the Britney costume, and I topped it off with this burnt orange shirt from Topshop, this green corduroy shirt. It's oversized, very, very 90s. Um, I would have preferred to throw on a dark green jacket, which I did have one, but like back in the day in like 2014, 2015, you know, when everybody wore those green jackets with like the drawstring, you know the one? That one would be perfect for this costume, but we're gonna make do with what we have. And then I kept the knee high socks and I added these Steve Madden combat boots that are like, they're very, very 90s, grungy. They're like kind of beat up. I've had them for a long time. And I wore my, my round glasses. I was about to say sunglasses, not sunglasses. And I just wore my hair with the bangs and like kind of messy, like whatever, don't care. And that's the Dari costume. Very simple, very easy to recreate. My next costume is Jackie Burkhart from that 70s show. I put on this really cute, vintage, like psychedelic 70s looking dress. It reminds me so much of Jackie. And I paired it with these brown boots 
and I also have other options for this costume. Um, you could wear like a peasant top kind of blouse or like a floral 70s boho looking blouse. These two would look great and look perfect for the character and I would suggest um, pairing them with bell bottoms. I don't own a pair of bell bottoms but if I did that would be my other option for the costume and look like a pair of vintage brown boots and just like part your hair in the middle curl it have like the 70s Farrah Fawcett inspired like waves curls and you're good to go so I don't think that this costume even needs an introduction I think it's pretty obvious who I am you haven't guessed it how about now no okay well I am dressed as the queen of Tejano music Selena Quintanilla my literal idol, my icon, role model, lover. I love her so much. This costume, okay, this one I think might be my favorite just because I feel so much like her. I feel like I look like her in this costume and it's really, really easy to achieve. All you need is a pair of mom jeans. Any pair of mom jeans will do. High-waisted blue jeans. It's all good. Um, I also paired it with this rhinestone cowboy belt. It's from Target. The same white button-up blouse that I wore for the Britney costume and I just put my naturally curly hair in that half up, half down, and I wore gold hoops. And I also wore black cowboy boots and I have the pants tucked out of the boots just because of the, the cut of them, uh, but you can tuck them in depending on the style of the mom jeans. And I even did the makeup like her and the eyebrows, how she used to do them. And yeah, that's the look. I think it's pretty easy. And like, when people see you, they'll be like, whoa, you're Selena. So this is just one of those simple costumes that is so like accurate. I feel like everybody, everybody has all my button up and, and mom jeans. So boy, I'll be Selena. So this is my modern day Belle costume. I just put on this light yellow dress that I got from Thread Up like a few years ago. So any like light yellow kind of golden shade summery dress will do for this modern day Belle princess costume. And I just put my hair in like a half up, half down. I curled my bangs and parted them down the middle. And I added this um, light yellow scrunchie, it's a silk scrunchie. It comes in like a 60 pack on Amazon that you can get. And yeah. And oh, for the shoes, I just wore these like little pink kitten heels because I don't have any yellow or gold shoes to put on for this costume. And I think the pink and the yellow gives it a really Disney princess kind of look. Um, and the earrings, I just put on these little light gold, light yellow studs. And that's the finished look. And the last costume we have is Posh Spice from the Spice Girls. Um, I took inspiration for this look from a photo of her and the other girls where she has longer hair and I think this was perfect because my hair is just about the same length. Um, I tried to recreate her other looks where she has shorter hair with like a faux bob but it just did not look good. So if you have short hair or if you have a short hair wig then you can do that and that would be perfect for you but not me. Um, so what I tried to do is uh, the tease like up hairstyle that she had. In the photo, she had like a bouffant kind of like 60s uh, hairstyle going on, but mine is like kind of falling flat a little bit. I tried. And I tried to recreate the spaghetti strap uh, mini dress that she wears, but um, I don't have one in my closet, so I improvised. I'm wearing a black midi, mini skirt. Um, this is the same one that I wore for the Hillary Banks look and a black tube top. And to give the illusion of a spaghetti step strap dress, I left my bra strap like visible so it looks like a one whole piece mini dress. And I think, it, I, I don't think it looks that bad. And for the shoes, I'm just wearing the black heels and that is the completed Posh Spice look. 
thank you so much for watching if you stuck through the end of this video and i hope this gave you some inspiration and some ideas for this halloween which is tomorrow or today whenever i upload this um <laughs> And yeah, I, I hope you really enjoyed this. And if you want me to make more content like this, more lookbooks, I have so many ideas, then give this video a like and subscribe. Bye guys.